Okay, so we've got our bare parts now and we need to assemble. To do this, I'm, I've just poked a needle through his joints just to see where I want them positioned and one down the centre of his head and his ears to, to see what he looks like. So this is going, this is, gets a bit tricky but it's um, easy once you get going. Um, probably the first one to do is the head to the body and we're going to use the ladder stitch. The ladder stitch means that you take some yarn from a, a stitch from here and then a stitch from here and then back down to here back up to there so you're laddering it across. Now you don't want to go too close inside you want to sort of squish these two bits together. So we'll start about here, just leave a tail and then come up to the top, grab a couple of stitches and then don't pull too tight as you're going, just round here, back up to the top. Sort of follow a line as you're going around. It's nice if you've got um, variegated yarn like this, and you can sort of see the stitching. We have a couple of posts or stitches there, and then on that side. And you go all the way around the head in the same way and as you pull it tight it will cinch that shut you can take that out now you've got it in position so down to the bottom and up to the top Take your time, just go nice and slow, don't rush it. That's why I didn't tie any knots, if you make a mistake you can always rip it back out, but pull it tight as you go, do a few stitches. As I said, bears are quite forgiving if you make a mistake gives them character so you want to make sure that the head is sitting flat maybe come out a few more rows here you can always go around again if it's too loose you can tighten it up at the end and all the joints are done in the same way. So you start at one point and work your way uh, all the way around each, each part. They're all done the same way. So you're back almost down to the same starting position. If you're using a furry yarn, it's quite forgiving on hiding your your seams, but um, with this stitch, it sort of pulls it tight anyway. You can give it a bit of a tug, tighten it up. Feel around, see if you like where it's positioned. I like to tie a knot here anyway, just to make sure it's secure. 
his head's quite it's a bit loose here so I might go back around so continue around go around twice at least and you can catch a few extra stitches especially if giving it to a child they can be a bit rough Okay, well I've gone around again and I'm happy with how his head's sitting. I've given it a gentle pull just to make sure it's nice and tight. I'm going to tie a knot. Do a double knot here. And then you can weave in your ends. You can go through anywhere you like. And then trim off the excess. The other tail. Here. Trim off the excess. So his head's on now, it's all secure, it's not going to fall off. So now we'll do his ears so you can see how the ears go on. Um, I'll just use the yarn that was attached to his um, the leftovers here and position your ears where you want them to be and I like them sort of here and here sort of in line with the eyes but a bit back to give him a nice look so since it's attached to this one already, we'll just pick up a stitch here. And the same thing again. Stitch in here. And back through this way. And to the ear. And to the head. And work your way around point to point. Uh, one to the ear, uh, one to the head. Draw the tail there. You can always use contrasting yarn or same colour yarn. Attach the head to the ear. Just have a few. Don't go right on the edge of the ear. Go a few few stitches in just so it's got a firm foundation to, to hold it and that's pretty much all you have to do all the limbs are the same procedure take one from the from the limb leg or arm and then one from the body in position where you like it um, and secure and weave in your ends and your bear will be finished I'll finish this off camera and show you what he looks like thanks for watching